everyone, welcome to another video for SimonSaysStamp.com. This is another quick tip video for beginners. Today I'm going to be talking about the Stampamajig Stamp Positioner. And there are a couple different uses for the Stamp Positioner. I'm going to show you the most common, and then I'll show you another way to use it. So, the, the most common instance when you're going to need a Stampamajig is when you're using a woodblock stamp, and you need to have it positioned just perfectly on your paper. So I'm going to be putting this sentiment stamp on this little strip of cardstock here. Normally this would be a really kind of iffy situation. You've got to lean down and kind of look underneath and try to get it lined up just right to get make sure that it's on that little uh, ribbon shape perfectly. Instead, I'm going to use a stamp positioner. So the stamp of a jig has two pieces when you buy it. You have the imaging sheet, which is this clear kind of heavy plastic. One side is smooth and the other side has a little bit of a, of a grip to it. It's a little more matte. You're going to want to stamp on the matte side because it'll catch the ink a little bit better. And then there's this piece right here, which is at the T-square, which is actually the positioner part of the whole thing. So the first thing you're going to do is put down your positioner and it has some foam on the bottom so it's going to kind of sit on your work surface and not go anywhere. You're going to take your imaging sheet and slide it up into that corner really tight and then you're going to take your stamp and sometimes it's actually a little bit easier to um, like on these like long skinny stamps to have the, the longest part up against this instead of going like this it's a little bit more stable to press it in like that so that's the way I'm going to do it And I'm going to hold it like this and bring it in really tight and come straight down and then straight up. And then you can see the stamp on the imaging sheet. All right, so now I'm going to bring in my little piece of cardstock. When you're using a really small piece like this, it's a really good idea to put a tiny bit of adhesive on the back, just enough to have it hold down to your work surface. All right, I'm going to bring this in just like this. If you remember, that corner was up here. All right. So I have it like this, and now I'll hold this in place and remove the imaging sheet. Ink up my stamp again. Now I'm going to hold this and bring it in, and then bring it straight down. And then you have your sentiment stamp just perfectly. Be sure to clean off your imaging sheet right away. In fact, like this one, because I use stays on ink, you can actually use stays on cleaner or Hero Arts Ultra Clean to clean off that ink. All right, another instance when you might want to use a stamp of a jig is when you have a really delicate stamp, like this word stamp right here, because um, if you rock your block at all, it will cause some of the letters to kind of fill in with ink. So you have to be really careful with them. So I'm going to go ahead and mount this on a block. I have some more cardstock here. This cardstock is quite large, so I'm not going to adhere it down to the, my work surface. So I don't need my imaging sheet because it is a clear stamp so I can see where it's going to be positioned. So before I stamp, I'm going to come right here and let's say I want it down here at the bottom. I'm going to bring the T-square in so that's where it's supposed to be. Now I'm going to ink up my stamp. Ink that up really well. And then I can bring it in. Come straight down and lift up and then I have a really sharp image. So those are some tips for using your Stampin' Magic Stamp Positioner. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.